morning guys I am super sleepy <laughs> um, but yeah I just wanted to come on here really quick and do like a quick little intro to the video for day three of vlogmas currently at work parked in the parkade I do have a few minutes before I need to go in and start my day but just wanted to say a quick hello and um, yeah obviously I'm not allowed to record at work so I probably won't check in with you guys until the end of the day after work and all that jazz. But yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll check you guys in about seven, eight hours. <laughs> okay, see you later guys. Hey everybody, so I am signing back on again. It is now the end of the work day, just after 4 o'clock. My usual work hours is always 8 to 4, Monday to Friday. I'm just letting my car warm up a little bit here. And then I'm gonna head off to downtown, because I'm gonna be picking up Jeff from work. Um, that's what I do every single day, Monday to Friday. I always pick up Jeff from work and then we go home from there. But um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good good day today. Um, mine was really good actually. I felt I felt very productive at work today. Like I feel like I got a lot done. Considering my coworker, she is currently on holidays uh, for all of this week and next week. So I've got a lot on my plate, <laughs> but uh, no, it's good. I like to keep busy. But I, I don't know, something about today I felt really, really productive. I'll be back in a little bit. Alright you guys, I am back. Just waiting for Jeff to leave work. And um, I had a thought today. And I have a bit of a concern. So my days during the week are pretty routine. Um, and since I'm doing vlogmas this year, my vlogs are pretty much gonna be um, the same because Monday to Friday, it's always the same thing. I get up, go to work, come home, and all that. But um, yeah, I'm just concerned that it's just gonna be very repetitive every single day. But um, we'll see how this week goes and I'm gonna try my best to keep up with Vlogmas because yeah, this is my first year doing it as I had mentioned in my first Vlogmas vlog, day one. But um, I apologize in advance if it gets to be <laughs> pretty boring. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, like I said, my my, um, my routine is pretty, um, pretty much the same. Very routine. But um, yeah, I think the plan is to head home make some dinner and then um, I'll show you what I do usually do in the evenings we are home now everybody and we are about to make some dinner I'm super excited because we are making keto tacos what do you mean by keto tacos well I'll show you guys in a sec but anyway I'm gonna be making the taco beef because that's kind of my specialty there's a certain way I like to make it so I've got my Angus beef here got the taco seasoning I've got one tablespoon of minced garlic and then my extra special ingredient that I like to add to the meat while it's cooking and then I've got my pan over here just waiting to warm up and I poured myself a little snack some macadamia nuts so good I'm hungry already but um yeah I'll show you guys the process on how to make keto tacos what are you making tacos. <laughs> Keto tacos, right? Yeah. So this is the thing with keto tacos. Since the ketogenic diet is a low carb and um, basically, yeah, low carb, no sugar kind of diet, focusing on high fats food, instead of having regular taco shells, we are making cheese shells, which is just basically shredded cheese. When we put it on a baking pan, put it in the oven at 375 and bake it for how long? Minutes. Like six minutes until the cheese has melted down and then forms like a like kind of like a little cheese pancake and then we form those into shells. 
We've got the meat in the pan here cooking. And we'll check back in in a few minutes. Here's what the cheese shells look like after six minutes. Nice and bubbly and hot. We let these cool down for a bit before we remove them. And then here's the update on the meat. I've already added in the kettle unit dressing, just a little drizzle with some minced garlic and the chocolate seasoning. And um, before I added everything though, I made sure to drain the excess fat that cooked away from the meat. So this is gonna maybe simmer together for another five minutes or so and the meat is pretty much done. about after seven o'clock and I'm about to get my workout in so I've been doing well trying to do this 30-day um, fitness challenge and I have a an app literally called 30 day fitness and um, it's got different challenges on here and different workouts let's see um, yeah they've got a ton of different challenges for example I'm doing the toned body makeover they've got different workouts that you do every single day for 30 days uh, right now I'm on day 13 of the tone body makeover but I mean this hasn't been very consistent I've been on and off for for a while now but I'm trying to get back into the groove of everything trying to make it a habit to work out in the evenings during the week so all of last week I don't think I've worked out once so this week, it's a new week, trying to get back into the routine of things, and um, yeah, I'm about to get started. I'm going to record some of my workout just so that you guys can kind of get a little, little idea of what kind of movements that I'm doing, because um, in terms of working out, I don't go to the gym. I prefer to do home workouts, and um, I prefer to do like different moves that don't require equipment, so this app is perfect for that. You don't need to use equipment or anything at all and um, you kind of adjust it to like your level like for me for example I'm still you know in the beginning stages of working out so the workouts that I do are you know challenging enough but you know as I progress I could adjust it to make it more difficult to suit my needs but yeah let's get started Swinging high kicks 40 seconds
Hi guys. That was just the warm up. And I'm already out of breath. <sighs> Swinging high kicks. 30 repetitions. 15 per leg. Alright. Here we go with the actual workout. <laughs> Okay, next I'm supposed to do 15 assisted push-ups, but I'm an absolute wimp and I cannot do a push-up, nor can I do an assisted push-up. So I'm gonna do a modified version of it, which is a lot easier on my shoulder joints and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, here we go. Assisted push-ups, 15 repetitions. So if you can kind of see what I did there, I did push-ups standing up against the wall on an angle rather than on the floor, which is a little bit easier on my shoulders, but I still feel like a good, a good workout on my arms here. So next is 15 crunches. And the first, the first move that you saw with me kicking, those are called swinging high kicks. And I had to do 30 of those, 15 on each leg. Crunches. 15 repetitions. Now to do 15 crunches. Next, what I'm supposed to do, 15 calf raises. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the floor here or on the steps over here that we have, on the stairs. I find that doing them on the stairs is more effective, so maybe I'll do that. I'm obviously gonna be on frame, kind of, but um, yeah, that's what we're doing next. My mistake, 30 reps of calf raises. Whew, those burn the calves a little bit. Um, next, we are going to do 30 heel touches. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be laying on my back, and then I'll have my arms on my on the side of me, and basically going back and forth. This really works the the abdominals, touching my heels, doing 30 of them in total. Heel touches, 30 repetitions, 15 per side. And then next, we're going to be doing a full extension plank for 30 seconds. Whew, all right. Full extension plank, 30 seconds. So 
that's basically round one of all the exercise moves. I'm gonna be doing two or one or two more rounds of that and that completes my workout. So I'm gonna stop recording here for now, do the rest of my workout and I will come back in a little while. So you guys, I just completed my workout for tonight. I actually ended up doing two more rounds of uh, the actual workout itself and um, finishing off with a protein shake right here. And the protein that I'm drinking is this one at the moment. Actually just finished off the last of it. And after this, Jeff and I are gonna be switching to a more keto friendly protein powder but yeah you know what I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for tonight because I'm pretty much just gonna finish off my protein shake shower get ready for bed and that's pretty much my day so I want to thank you guys for joining me for vlogmas day three be sure to check out day one and two which I will link down below so make sure to check those out and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day four have a good night, guys. Bye.